Hello and welcome to Motion Time. My name is Lloyd and today is Behavior Wednesday where I will teach you the behaviors in Apple Motion. For today's topic, I'm gonna talk about the grow and shrink behavior in motion. So let's start. Okay, grow and shrink behavior in motion. So where can we find it? If you go to behaviors, basic motion, and grow and shrink. Alternatively, you can go to the library behaviors basic motion grow and shrink i have now the grow and shrink applied to my layer so the grow and shrink behavior it affects the scale of our layer if you add the grow and shrink behavior you will be presented with these options we have the increment scale to curvature and end offset Natural scale is the default option for the increment. If you change that to continuous rate, the curvature will be available. Same with the ramp to final value. So let's go to the first one, the natural scale, which is the default. Natural scale is very straightforward. You just change the scale to, to your desired percentage. Let's say I want to make my rectangle 50% more scale. To have a 50% scale added to it. If we go to the end of our timeline and go to the properties and scale, you can see that the scale is now at 150%. Very straightforward. Let's go back again to behavior. Go to ramp to final value. So ramp to final value is almost the same with the natural scale. However, the curvature option or slider is now available. Let's go first again to the properties. You can see the scale is still 150%. So the difference is the curvature. So what does the curvature does is add some easing to our scale. For example, let's look at our keyframe editor. Currently, our scale increments in a linear fashion way. But if we adjust the curvature to 100% and adjust this one, you can see that we have now a uh, smoothing or is in is out applied to the scale really easy how to use the curvature in grow and shrink behavior lastly let's go to the continuous rate so continuous rate i rarely use this option especially for the grow and shrink behavior let's look at the example let's add a 10% scale rate then let's go to the properties and go to the end of our timeline you can see that the scale is now at 200% or increased 200 more even though we just added 10% for the scale rate let's adjust again the curvature to zero let's try to adjust again the scale rate of maybe 20 if we go to properties you can see it's now at 300 percent so let's go back again to ramp to final value then adjust the curvature lastly is the end offset so end offset adjust this when you want your grow and shrink behavior to finish much earlier so currently the grow and shrink behavior ends at 923 but if you adjust this one let's say 60 the grow and shrink behavior will end 60 frames much earlier. So let's count from the end, starting from the end. I'm doing shift, left arrow. Let's count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 60 frames before the end, the grow and shrink behavior stops. So that's it, the grow and shrink behavior. It's quite a very easy to use behavior in Apple Motion. My advice is just use the natural scale or the RAM to final value in most of your projects. I really, really use the continuous rate in my motion files. I hope that you find this lesson interesting and thank you for your time. See you again next time. Peace.